Robin Gibbs' departure from the Bee Gees is now old news, but the main reasons for it are still far from clear. In a recent interview, David Wigg of the Daily Express asked Robin if he thought that the break had to happen sometime. I think it would have been this way anyway with three writers, Barry Gibb, Morris Gibb and myself. It may have been a professional split, but not a personal one. We've all got our own ideas, and, but personally, you know, there's no bond broken, and I don't think it ever will be. It's something that when the moon blows over, we'll be the same again, you know. Have you found what you want now as a soloist? Yes, but I don't think anybody finds exactly what they want. I'm quite happy to say that I haven't found what I, what I want, but I'm close to it. What sort of future? Have you lined up for yourself now as a solo singer? Well, uh, try to musicals and plays and uh, conduct orchestras, as I have already done with uh, 100 piece orchestra and 70 piece choir. And uh, well, that was an experience and a half. Yeah. What do you want most of all for yourself now? I can finish the book now called On the Other Hand. Have you? And yeah, book? about 300 pages long. I've just completed the writing of it. What's that all about? Well, various classical stories, like Dickens type of stories, and how to uh, perform one of these stories in a film, which I am actually. But the you thing are. is, it's just being materialised now. Uh, that is called the Family Tree. It's about a, a, a person called John Family. And <laughs> you're doing the music for a television version of Scrooge. I can say that. That's right. Like. Yeah, and Henry the Eighth. And Henry VIII? Yeah. For films or television? For, for, well, for stage, really. For stage. Yeah.